So why is micro cheating a problem? I mean, it's basically flirting, right? It's no big deal. You can flirt and still be in a committed relationship. Well, I will tell you that I don't really think so. I don't think that flirting is great in a committed relationship. You can be, you know, friendly with people. You can talk, you can be funny, you can be kind, you can be nice, you can ask about their day. But being flirty and sexy with other people while you're in a committed relationship is, I think, misleading. And I also think it portrays your relationship as not very valuable to you because you don't mind sort of jeopardizing it. So I'm not a big fan of flirting in relationships. You guys tell me if you think I'm too uh, strict on that one. So if somebody is micro cheating, that would be a pretty big red flag for me. It would be a red flag that they're stepping on this very slippery road towards infidelity. Because oftentimes, you know, affairs don't start as an overt come on and an invitation to smex. They start with talking. They start with testing the waters. They start with getting a little bit of a dopamine hit from the interaction. And then over time, you get used to that and then you want something more intense. You want something more. So if somebody is micro cheating and flirting and doing some inappropriate things, they're going to get a dopamine hit from that, right? They're going to feel good doing that. It's going to give them a thrill. They're going to get used to that thrill and they're going to want more thrills and they're going to need to do more of it or do something more intense to satisfy them. And that's when they're at really high risk for crossing over the line and having, you know, a true affair. So this is why I think micro cheating is a very big warning sign and something for us to pay attention to. What do you think about this?